Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to do some surface integrals in cylindrical coordinates. In other words, we're going to find the surface of the cylinder. Now notice that we're going to have to do it separately. We do the side first and then we do the top and the bottom. Now notice the reason why we have to do it separately is because our area element for the side is different than the area element for the top. So let's do the side first. So the area for the side is equal to, now notice we have two variables, we have to integrate over phi and we have to integrate over z. So that's going to be the double integral of rho times d phi times dz. Now in this case, rho is of course the radius of the cylinder and the radius of the cylinder is constant, so that can come outside and rho is equal to 2, so this can be written as 2 times the double integral of d phi times dz or this is equal to 2 times the integral of d phi times the integral of dz. Of course, this is equal to, and the z goes from 0 to the top, the height is 6, so from 0 to 6. So I have 2 times the integral of d phi multiplied times z with the limit from 0 to 6, which of course, when I plug in the lower limit, you get 0, plug in the upper limit, you get 6. So 6 times 2 is equal to 12 times the integral of d phi, and that integral goes from 0 to 2 pi because we have to integrate all the way around the circle and so this is equal to 12 times phi from 0 to 2 pi we plug in the lower limit you get nothing plug in the upper limit you get 2 pi times 12 which is 24 pi that's the area of the side of the cylinder now we have to do the same thing and my pen is looks like it's dying so let's see if I have another black pen here that works all right so now let's do the area of the top. Oh, new pen. Area of the top is equal to the double integral because again we have two variables, rho and phi. So it would be rho times d rho times d phi. And notice in this case rho is not going to be a constant because rho goes from 0 to 2. And then phi of course it goes all the way around the circle. So the area on the top is equal to the integral of d phi times the integral of rho times d rho. And this will go from 0 to 2. So the area at the top is equal to the integral of d phi times rho squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 2. We plug in the lower limit. We get nothing, plug in the upper limit, we get 2 squared, which is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And so we get A area at the top is equal to 2 times the integral of d phi from 0 to 2 pi. Again, this will be 2 times phi evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. You plug in the lower limit, you get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, you get 2 pi times 2, which is equal to 4 pi. Area at the top. And so now we have area total is equal to area on the side plus 2 times area of the top because obviously we have the area on the bottom as well so this will be equal to 24 pi plus 2 times 4 pi which is 8 pi plus 24 pi which is 32 pi as the total surface area of that particular cylinder what's interesting about it here is that yes indeed we needed two different area elements we needed one for the side and we need a one for the top to get the total area of the entire cylinder. And that is how it's done. Okay, I'm gonna call it a day.